I'm Adam Richmond, a food fanatic who's held nearly every job in the restaurant biz. Ha! And now I'm on a mouth-watering journey to find America's greatest pig-out spots. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And take on the country's most legendary eating challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the carnivore challenge. I'm no competitive eater. This is history in the making. Just a regular guy with a serious appetite. The hottest wings on the planet. <laughs> One minute and count it. This is my Three. ultimate hunger quest. This is man versus food. My endless eating odyssey has brought me to Philadelphia, and I'm here for some brotherly love and some manly grub. This is a city steeped in American history and delicious eats. Oh, man. And I begin my journey a couple blocks from City Hall at the Reading Terminal Market. This is the epicenter for all food Philadelphia. This massive 60,000 square foot bazaar is home to almost 80 vendors selling every imaginable Philly favorite from Bassett's ice cream to the soft pretzel to the classic cheesesteak. But there's another sandwich in town that is so mouthwatering, locals say it gives the cheesesteak a run for its money. The Roast Pork Sandwich, a delectable mix of slow-roasted ham, sharp provolone cheese, and broccoli rob. Right. And I hear that Denix does it better than anyone else. Do you think this sandwich can step toe-to-toe -to -toe with the cheesesteak? More than toe-to-toe, -to -toe, it steps above the cheesesteak. Oof! The best part about the sandwich, in my opinion, is the cheese. Really? I come back here for the cheese. The meat's so juicy and well marinated. Damn. It's, it's just a great package. This, this is Philadelphia right here. This is what you really want to come for. That's what the locals eat. That's what I want. Since 1980, Denix has been a roast meat mecca at the Reading Terminal Market, serving up everything from succulent pulled pork, mm, it is really like butter to incredibly juicy brisket. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh wow. Well, my brother. But I'm here for the sandwich that rivals the famous Philly cheesesteak, the roast pork. Now what is it about the roast pork that makes it like such an iconic sandwich for you guys? Everything works perfectly in harmony. The pork, the cheese, the broccoli rob just all comes together on a crisp Italian roll and it just works. It simply works. It all starts with a boneless ham that's covered in a secret blend of Italian seasonings and roasted in its own juices for five hours. Oh, wow. This smells even better than it looks. I would very much like to hollow out a large bun and just eat this whole thing. We probably don't slice them while they're still hot, right? You try to slice them hot, they're just gonna fall apart. I have bad experiences being on the line in the kitchen when you try to slice it, they crumble. It crumbles, exactly. But how long do you let them cool for? They're cooled overnight. How about that for quality? 24 hours goes into every single bite you take here. To make the sandwich, Joe cuts ultra-thin slices from the chilled ham and drenches them in a steaming vat of pork gravy. How long does it go into there for? It's sliced so thin, this takes less than a minute to get hot. Really, really quick. While the pork soaks up the flavor, Joe slices a freshly baked roll and carves up the sharp provolone. And I love the fact that it's the regular slices. It's not formulaic. It's a nice it character. It's awesome. Here's our pork. Now look at what that looks like when it's coming out. My mouth is like craving it now. The final touch on this sandwich masterpiece is the sautéed broccoli rabe. Now broccoli rabe is a really traditional kind of an Italian, more bitter broccoli. They tend to do it sautéed with garlic, uh, spices, but I've never had it with this. And, oh, and then you're gonna put gravy on top of it. Just a drop. Just that little extra? A little extra. Here we have the completed the Nick's roast pork sandwich. Every element.
complements the next. You have the crustiness of the bread, soaks up all that gravy, all the meltiness of the cheese. The pork is full of flavor, and then you have this kind of great, like, garlicky, almost bitterness of the green. You've got that awesome sort of drying, nutty saltiness of the provolone. Because this pork is so good, it's beginning to make me understand why it's a sin to eat it in some religions. Thank <laughs> you.